Hey, Skippy, why you, why you always talking about this pimp stuff, man? What's happening? Because he's real, nigga. I'm a pimp. No name, no bitch, so it's no money. High tech in the cup, cause I'm blue, honey. Full clip in my shit, homie, who want it? Talking all that shit, better do something. Okay, well, the lighting is best in the garage, so I decided to film this here. A um, couple days from now, actually, t what day is it? Yeah, tomorrow, Sunday the 5th of December, will be the last day that you could uh, enter to win my Corolla. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's participated so far. It's been honestly really great, and I'm happy to say that I'll be able to pay off all of the debt that I've amassed over the years, which is Basically, I don't know if you guys caught it, but it's kind of the reason I did this in the first place. Kind of the reason I had to do this in the first place. Unfortunately, it was, to me, it felt like I had to do it. And if there was any other way to, to get through this, that I, if there was another way to do it promptly, which was kind of necessary uh, and effectively, I, I would have done that. But this is, doing this, I think, uh, was the right choice. And I'm, I stand by my choice. And I understand if anyone's upset that I'm getting rid of the car, but at the end of the day, like, it's, just, it's my life, and uh, I gotta do what I gotta do, really. But anyways, yeah, it's going great. Uh, basically, enough people have entered to where I, I'm able to pay off all of the debt that I've amassed over the years, and now, as more people enter, I can start putting that money towards my Land Cruiser and my 240. So going forward, uh, I mean today and tomorrow is the last day unless I upload this on Sunday morning, which is a possibility. We'll see what happens in these last two days and uh, go from there, but I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, I haven't posted a video since the first day I, I mentioned I was doing this whole thing with the Corolla. I really didn't want to oversaturate it and I didn't want to feel like I'm just in it for the money grab. I know like I could have posted a thousand videos during this month, but I've also been really busy, which was another part of it. I've been going up and down, like we had Thanksgiving up and down from Washington, uh, from Idaho to Washington, we had Thanksgiving and uh, we've been visiting my girlfriend's family a lot. I also have a part-time job at the moment, so I haven't been super free to make videos in general and I just don't have much to make content on. Uh, and I know a lot of people always say like, you could just film your day or whatever. And like, I would like to do that. And my buddy Josh actually just started his own business where he is doing a basically custom woodworking. And I'm in the shop right now. It's our garage, but he's turned it into a shop. And I'll kind of show you around here in a second, but um, we'd like to start making videos uh, for him, just making like random shit in the shop out of wood, which would be sick. And then uh, I've been playing a lot of pool also. I mean, I'm currently in a tournament uh, today, or yesterday, today, possibly tomorrow. My buddy from Washington flew down to join the tournament. It's me, my roommate, and him, and we're all playing in it. We won our first two team matches, so we're sitting pretty right now. We play in like three hours from now a couple more matches, so. Hopefully that goes well, um, but yeah, I would like to do more kind of like day in the life type stuff. I want to get really into snowboarding. I've, that's been like a huge thing for me growing up, but I kind of, I started skating a lot more than snowboarding and it, it got really expensive to, to just keep my gear up to spec or whatever, like I blow through pants or whatever. That shit gets expensive, but, uh, um, I do have a snowboard and I got some old boots and I want to make some snowboard videos this winter so that should be sick. But yeah, I I am ecstatic as how this has turned out so far. Like I was so fucking nervous that this was going to go that this was just going to flop and like nobody would enter, nobody would want to nobody would I don't know. Like I just I was so scared to be honest and uh it's worked out. Like I am at this point, I'm happy it happened, and I I hope um, it continues to do well in the last couple days, depending on when this video came out. And I want to let you guys know that Sunday is the last day that you can enter for a chance to win my A86. And uh, 
I also want to let you guys know that I, I plan on driving it uh, to the winter. There might be some complications when it comes to weather. Um, like if I, if I have to drive over some mountain passes, I might, I, I'll probably just keep an eye on the weather and try to find a, a day or a couple days where it works out, or I might wait till spring. Um, and I'll work that out with the buyer. I could also arrange shipping it, but I would like to come meet whoever won it and hang out for a day or two, and then I would fly home. <clears throat> so whatever the winner of the, of, the, of the whole thing decides, I'll probably just go with that, but I would like to say that I would like to come and meet you rather than just ship it. Um, so yeah, I want to thank everyone who's entered so far. I really appreciate it. And I know that this is like a really different chapter for more skids and things just are not the same like I talked about in the last video. And I feel that too and I would like to find kind of a new niche, so to speak. Um, and just get my like creative juices flowing again like they used to and like I said it's not going to be the same as as it was and I, I don't know if I want it to be the same because like that's just life like shit changes and, and you adapt and move on and, and make things work and I would like to find just a new path so to speak um, I'd like to still stay on YouTube and keep doing this but I my creative juices have not really been firing and I'm sure a lot of people understand that um, but I would like to start creating more than I have been so and I, I think doing this and, and getting out of, of debt like I said before is a huge step in the right direction because I would wake up every day just like stressed as fuck about like is the IRS gonna call me today and like come and take my shit kind of stress and it was getting really overwhelming and I'm sure a lot of people noticed like I was not in a very good place during all of that and to be out of that situation is like a huge 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 weight lifted off my shoulders and I owe that to you guys for participating in this whole thing and it means the world to me that it that you guys participated really and and just like in general that you guys watch my videos and, and keep up with me no matter what so I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone um, even if you didn't participate I want to give a huge thank you to you for watching this video um, and for watching all my other videos in the past me and DJ have came a long way with this and just to be where we're at now is a huge accomplishment I think we shouldn't, we shouldn't downplay that accomplishment, which is something I do sometimes, unfortunately, but I think I really, I really need to be happy with how it happened. And I'll always look back on everything and, and just have a smile on my face because it was fucking sick. And I want something new to come in the next 10 years or the next five years, maybe something else will work out like it did before. And like, I want to, I want to do a lot of like camping and overlanding and stuff like that. And then maybe five years from now, I do something else. I don't know. Just depends really. Like it really depends. And I just wanted to say thank you again to everyone who uh, participated, everyone who watches the channel and keeps up with all the shit I got going on. Like I try to post on Instagram and, and everyone is always like messaging me on Instagram and telling me about how like our videos really shaped them or got them into cars. That shit is the sickest thing to hear. Uh, one time somebody told me when I was streaming, which is another thing I want to get into more. I, I was doing it for a little bit, but somebody came into the stream and, and was like, me and my homies used to gather around like they'd call their homies up like, yo, more skids, drop the video. Everyone would go to this dude's house and like watch the video together. And that was like one of the sickest things that anyone has ever told me in my life. And it made me feel so good. Like it's unexplainable, like how that feels. And I am so appreciative. I can't, I cannot say that enough. So just thank you guys for everything. And uh, I'm happy this went well. And the link is in the bio if you'd like to, uh, get an entry in, check out the rules if you haven't. Um, yeah, it all helps. So thank you guys so much. Sorry this video is super boring. I just sat here on the shop floor and talked bullshit, but um, kind of in between matches at the pool tournament right now and my buddy is down from Washington and I just 
had to let you guys know what was going on. Uh, it's the last day or Sunday at, at like 11.59, 59 seconds is all, the last time you can enter for a chance to win the Corolla. So today is Saturday, tomorrow, 11.59, 59 mountain time is the last time you can enter. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you got any questions, hit me up on Instagram. I try to reply to all my DMs or drop a comment. I try to reply to all the comments. I at least read all the comments. So if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I almost forgot to show you guys the shop. That You wanna come show off the shop real quick in the vid? Sure. So we moved in and this was basically there was nothing in here. These cabinets weren't even in here. And uh, Josh has really transformed this place and got a lot of really, really nice tools that are gonna uh, do really well for him and his business. So he's gonna show yeah, you around real quick. Pretty much off Craigslist. Yeah, we, he got these on Craigslist and we hung them up and- uh, Like a hundred bucks for all these. I super think. sweet dealio, yeah. And then I haven't really set up a lot of stuff, but I got most of the tools in. Table saw set up, this thing's a beast. Do you want to demonstrate how you can just stick your hand on there? And... Yeah, I wish I could, but it yeah. costs like $200, unfortunately. Yeah. But the $200 is better than losing a finger. But yeah, if you run your finger through the blade or anything that's not supposed to go through the blade, it'll basically, a break catches it and then it'll pull down and you won't get cut. Well, you'll get like a little nick, nick basically. Yeah. And then this is the new dust collector that I haven't set up yet. I still have to hook up and wire it up actually too. Um, super nice. But then this guy is super nice. Yeah, here's a couple of little pieces he probably cut on there. Oh, this yeah. one, this one's super thin. What's nice about these tools is that they're all really compact, but they're super powerful too. And they have a lot of capacity. Like this thing will go, up to 12 inches, or 13 inches actually, almost. Yeah, like so, this shop is really tiny, but there's a lot of stuff in here that yeah, you can, I can really- still make big stuff. I just don't have a lot of room for the big stuff, unfortunately, so. The shop will get a little bit bigger soon. This literally just came in this morning. It's still got grease on it, but this is a game changer. With this and the table saw and my planer right here that I just put on this stand the other day, I can get all my wood nice and square and then take it to dimension it with that, get it to my thickness, and then build whatever the fuck I want. Or the heck I want. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can say fuck. Oh, fuck yeah. We be fucking. And this guy I still gotta get wired up, but this thing's a fucking beast. So nice. And it wraps around the edge here, so you can do like contoured sanding for pieces that are contoured. Yeah, I still got more tools to get and shit to organize. These are all gonna go up on the ceiling, so they'll be out of the way. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you guys probably saw, uh, like we did the house tour, be in the beginning, like when we first got the house, there was nothing in here. And now it's uh, it's really come along. Josh started his own business and he's gonna be working out of here until we possibly get a new house, which is in the future. And uh, putting off his own places right now. Yeah. This is the new workbench that I still have to finish, but yeah. You gotta pull the bench dogs out, but then you put these dogs in, you can clamp stuff whichever way you want. Put it in there and clamp it like that. Whatever the heck you need. Pretty sweet. Yeah, so uh, look forward to some videos. Me and Josh will probably be making yeah. videos. Maybe if he makes a YouTube channel, we'll make, make some, some videos. Mid-century modern furniture, for sure. For sure. If you guys like that. Even if you don't, we'll still Even do it. Don't, we don't care. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. And uh, any questions, like I said, drop them in the comments. And see you in the next video. Check out the description. Peace.